Alright, welcome back. It's time for Operation Hot Law, the covert data recovery of a clandestine nature against Exalt here in South Africa. It is the pizza stage map as we expected. Uh, I've got a bit of a plan to do something a little bit different than I usually do for this one, so you're going to see something new from me today. Or, if you've never seen me play this map, well, I guess you're not. Doesn't matter. Come on, let's just get down there. Let's get rid of the waffling and let's uh, kill us some Exalt. operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objective updated. Alright, well, I remembered the realities of the operation compared to my fantasies. Uh, I was planning to do something a little bit different than I usually do on this map, which is run my sniper up to the billboard, set him up. Then I remembered why I do things the way I do things on this map, because you don't have time to do that, really. Uh, with the encoder hack already in progress, we really need to hoof it to that box. Uh, and shut down Exalt's attempts to crack open the goodies. Um, this map is fairly forgiving as an Exalt operation because you've got three transmitters in very close proximity. It all comes down to how we make this first turn. If we don't make contact on the first turn, uh, we can easily position ourselves for a potential, you know, transmit, then transmit again, uh, and then transmit again. Um, worst case, we have run and gun to hit this one this turn, but then that means we might not be able to get the second one in a row. So we prefer to try and save run and gun if possible. Staying away from the building, uh, prioritizing the objective itself. We'll just come out, out here. There's lots of destructible cover that we can blow up with grenades when Exalt try to take the objective itself. Uh, if they take the roof, which they always do, we can blow up the half wall cover of the roof with grenades. Uh, apart from that, we're just relying on good accuracy from our strike rifle, sniper rifle, infantry gunner, and good close combat work from our shotgunners in the environment down here. Uh, and that's really, that's really about it. You've usually killed most of the Exalt by the time you've taken this third transmitter. And if you haven't, there are more uh, in the back here, but as long as you've got control of this objective area, you're usually alright. Alright. So... Uh, first thing we want to do here is to make sure that it's safe, or to see if it's safe to make a double move of outrunning gun to this transmitter. So to do that, we're going to want to put someone uh, in position here to spot for that. So we'll move up Zamboni, Daishi with the strike now. rifle. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. And now you can see here, yeah, we've got, uh, you know, fine movement to the transmitter. The only problem is we don't quite have the movement on Morgan um, to get into a position. Like, if we move here, that's unexplored, and we can get an unlucky two tile activation on a rooftop exot pod. So what I'm probably going to want to do here is either check again with someone else or move the scout back. What I'll probably do here is move up. Let's see. All right, let's move up Kilroy to cover that position. I'm on the move. All right, we're happy. On the move. We'll shimmy around and get that operative into position. That's affirmative. So now we're ready for a very nice double activation. Get our sniper in position. Uh, hmm. With the free turn here, I won't get a sniper shot next turn, but I might be able to make two dashes and get my sniper ready to help with elevation bonuses. Um, so we'll go ahead and try that. I will try doing something different this time, and we'll see if it pays off. Usually I just keep the sniper with me. And then the only other things we're going to want to do are to... ...get our infantry in position to shoot twice, get our grenadier ready to move up and I'm blow going. some shit up, and get everyone That's else just ready to help out. I'm all over it. And that's that. So we haven't got long, only two turns now, and we've got contact. <laughs> Enjoy your face being melted. Uh, we've got a four pod contact here, 
If you would be so kind, that'd be great. No, no one's gonna hit him. Let me pull out a dice here. A die. Operative, 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 sniper. And they are all in position on the encoder. So now we're gonna make use of that hack. Uh, yeah. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. And we're gonna have to start moving in here because we've only got a couple turns now to secure that uh, zone. Go ahead and probably move up Kilroy in a minute. But first, let me move up my scout. Where do I want to put my scout? Where do I want to put anyone? Uh, let's move up Instinct and see what got he can see. Enemy in sight. All right, there's your roof pod. One, two, three, four. That looks like a medic, a sniper, and two operatives. I'm just going off the Exalt's hair color. I think the medics have black hair. So that's another pot of four, which I'll put on my counter. All right, so we still have to watch for the grenades, even though we've nullified all of their uh, weaponry. May as well go ahead and put our sniper, hopefully, up on the billboard this turn. Yeah, there you go. So we'll go ahead and stick you up there. And I've never done this before. I hope it has a good vantage point. All right, you can see three people. That's better than nothing. And now we just have to get everyone else in position. Now, it looks like they're all kind of far back here, so we're not really going to get grenades or anything on target, so it might just be better just to move up and get ready for the next turn here. I can probably run an overwatch there if I run Kilroy to the left to try and flank some people. Yes, Commander. And this is why I wanted to leave Kilroy until later, because I wanted to see if I could get this flank. That in turn is going to make those guys scurry. Which means if we put people in position, we are going to get overwatch shots. Moving. On as many people as we care to take them on. Um, but where we don't need to take overwatch shots, we won't, obviously, because overwatch is less likely to hit. So right here, you got a strike rifle flank from Daichi. Nice damage on the strike rifle. Aoi's got no flank, so he can go ahead and overwatch. What about you, Instinct? Uh, you can probably... You could probably do with running up. Yeah, you could probably do with running up. This guy's probably gonna sit there and be a little dick. Um, if I can get a Van Dorn suppression on him to make sure he doesn't throw a grenade, that'd be handy, but I'm not holding my breath on Hang that out. one. It's a bit of a weird angle. Not as lucky. Alright, so I'm going to suppress this guy. Hopefully he's not going to do anything stupid. Uh, let's run up Potete. And hey, we can blow up some cover there, which means those guys are extra fucked, which will be nice. So, if we start blowing up their benches, that'll help. We brought all these sapper grenades for a reason. Alright, who do you want to kill, Kilro? 72 on that guy, why not? The sheriff is in town. And now we might just stay away from that guy if we can get a good shot on anyone else. Less activations would be easier. But I'd like to run left here. Going in for the kill. And get that guy there. Got it, come. Who's uh, flailing around in the open right now? Man, that's a really shitty chance to hit, isn't it? I get a better chance to hit this guy. Fuck. But that guy's kind of dealt with, so we'll take the 54 there. Oh, we're just gonna get Morgan ready to move up here. Man, my guys are so accurate. I've been playing my Twitch campaign a lot, and I'm not used to enemies being so easy to hit in this part of the game. I've forgotten how this feels. Uh, let's move Morgan up, ready to hack the next terminal. And gee, I, I should probably just shoot the guy, but he's gonna blow up anyway. Let's just overwatch. Try and pick up someone. Now we're gonna have to bum rush into that zone. No matter what. Or kill those guys. We don't want to lose that encoder because that's a lot of money. Reloading. Keep track of my kills. I've killed what? Two people here? That car didn't blow up, sadly. I should have taken that shot. So we're down to six exalts up. 
Kilroy can make it to the encoder zone this turn, so we can prevent that. We disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. All right, we're just going encoder. The oh, inside. sorry, uh, not encoder. Relay to relay here. I always just name the same thing. What do we got? Looks like three operatives and a sniper again. It's like the standard pod today. I'm glad there's no heavies. Makes my life easier. Well, uh, I may as well slap this guy in the face. Or not. Come on. That's pathetic. He's a laser weapons for God's sake. It's pathetic. Uh, Kyori can probably do some kind of dumb bum rush charge into the zone if we need her to, but then she's just liable to get grenaded by other people. I guess if I don't kill one of them, they're not going to grenade their own, so that might be okay. Or rush for this uh, little piece of machinery here, which they hopefully won't grenade. What does that leave me? I'd probably like to get up on the roof here to deal with these guys. What does my sniper think? You know, the other way I could do this is run and gun Kilroy up onto the roof. Run instinct to the area, but Kilroy's got much more armor and health, so Kilroy's probably the best person for this job. And someone does have to do this job. Alright, so what I might do here is actually run up on the right here. I'm on the move. Might deliver some pinpoint pain to these guys blow up a little bit of cover and deal a little bit of damage. Right about there I'll do. Catch. Should get rid of any cover they have uh, from one of those sides anyway. Do a little bit of damage. And then what I'm going to do here him down. is run up, kind of use the encoder as a shield. Got it. Move it. Sheriff Kilroy is going for it. We're striking hard and fast. We're blocking the encoder hack, and we're betting on Exalt's uh, reluctance to grenade their own troops and or the thing they're trying to hack. Now what can my sniper see? Man, you got a good shot on that guy. Probably better to just let the sniper clean up at this point. Morgan could run and gun to finish that guy off, but it's probably not going to be necessary. Flashbang all those dudes, maybe. Or I could just maybe start going for the roof. It's probably the best. Let's just start going for the roof up here, I think. If we move to around I'm here, on, we should be able to deliver a swift flashbang prevent any possible grenading from those two operatives. Van Dorn should be able to move up here and pick off one of those guys in the open. Like uh, this Mr. Man. Easy. Out of the game. Put that down to another one dead on my dice. He's going to run, so Morgan can overwatch this turn. What can Daishi do for me? Uh, probably move up and help snipe off these guys, maybe? Or try and get shots on the rooftop gang with the assault next turn is another thing I could do. I may as well go for that. Okay. Seeing as that's assault, that assault is going to need help to kill the next turn, so I may as well put the sniper in position, or the scout in position for that. How many shots does Kyori have left? Only one. So one of these guys is going to get away despite close encounters. I may as well start wearing down these rooftop guys then. If I can hit them. Nah. Adjusting sights. Right watch. And then we're just picking off a target of opportunity with the sniper. Let's take, seeing as those guys are my little body shields right now, let's take this guy at the back. 
So we have got really nice elevation bonuses on Kung Tot from this position. There goes that exalt. Alright, reload at the back. They're trying to flank us! Reload. Close combat says hello. And another one bites the dust to the sheriff. But unfortunately, kill her out of ammo now. Luckily, none of them are opting for the grenades. Those are two snipers, not two operatives. We've I don't even need to flash bang them. Alright, one. Two. That's not who you meant to overwatch, but I'll take it. Good damage. Two. Alright, easy. So we'll hit the last transmitter here. That should throw them off. It will take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. And now we're back to the same game. Now, Kilroy can shoot and reload here, which will be handy. So I can... Oh, especially of Gunslinger. Snipe off one of these guys and then get the other quite easily. Uh, first things first. Well, I don't need to deal with these guys because they're snipers just yet, so I can let them wait. If I move up here, I can blow up the cover on these two and deal with them quite easily. Have I got range to do that already? No, let, let's uh, go ahead and move up here and do that. I'm rolling. So we're going to blow up as much cover as we can, obviously without blowing up the encoder. But, you know, Exile are going to keep streaming towards this zone. So we're going to get a lot of birds of one stone of this one uh, frag. Thank you, Potato. Oh, beautiful. Just so beautiful. So that's another two down. Dice can go away. I'm trying to get back on my... Uh, Good habits of tracking all my kills. I've been getting a bit lazy of that lately. Uh, let's move to make sure we're in position for this. Take our free shot of close encounters. Bye bye. Pull the shotgun, reload. She likes it. She likes it a lot. Uh, and then, who else are we going to deal with? Morgan's going to deal with this kid. I've got more encoders to the left and right, but. I mean, I could just start running for them and probably better to just start running for them and run and gun them soon. Especially because AO can kill this guy easily for me. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, I was going to reload. And Morgan's going to start running. Over for the next uh, hack. Excellent. What does my sniper see? When an Exalt mission goes right, it's just this, like, constant, just cavalcade shooting gallery of death, and I love it. Uh, we're, speaking of which, we're going to move up here and get some more kills. Like, when it goes right, it's just these juicy, juicy kills, just constantly, never-ending. And it's pretty beautiful. Pretty beautiful. Move the scout out with that strike rifle, you got the close-range power of the shotgun. Long range power of the marksman rifle, it's like a little sniper team. Oh, but you can't see now. You can see all the way up to there, but you can't now. I guess killing will be fun enough. He's down. I think I've got my counting wrong, but it says I'm down to five enemies now. I'm going to reload, oh, yeah. since I can't see anyone. Uh, take the free 87%, I guess. Kung Tart. Something's wrong with Kung Tot today. I don't know. He's off his game and I don't know why. Very strange. And then it's just uh, the big VD. The big Van Dorn. For the final shot. And you know what? For that final shot, I'm just going to take it. I feel the Van Dorn today. Enemy's always. Always feel the Van Dorn. Always trust the Van Dorn. Now, I have two snipers on the field that I see. But unless I messed up my counting, I think there's still there two more enemies activated. Not. I must have messed up my counting because I don't know where they've gone or why they would just disappear. They could be lurking around in the back of the pizza shop here. Oh, I reloaded, buddy, by the way. Just letting you know about that. You know, say nothing else about Exalt, but they're very brave. These two snipers are just running in without ammo into the zone because they have to have this laptop. It's like Black Friday in here. They have to have it. Now... If I get into trouble here, can I run and get another encoder? I can. I believe that's another encoder. I can only assume that that is another encoder. Kilroy can make short work of both these guys by herself. Uh, it's just a case of seeing if there's any other threats that are about to give her trouble. 
Doesn't seem like it at this point. Doesn't seem like a lot is going to give Kilroy trouble uh, at this point. Roger, tracking. Watch this shit. Bye -bye. I need ammo. Mm -hmm, that's one. Killer just doesn't give a, a damn right about now. Alright, Kilroy has made the hill hers. She is the queen of the hill. Uh, as you can see, surrounded in blood and bodies and exult in positions with their hands like, Oh god, no! Don't shoot my face! Uh, there's a lot of blood. This is a very bloody scene right now. That's not tomato sauce. There's a tomato sauce bottle here, but that's not a condiment. That is blood. I'm afraid to tell you. Um, although... Y yes, that is that is definitely blood. But, you know, that's a red carpet there, so it's not going to be too bad a stain. Uh, let's keep moving up here to help Kuroi secure this area. And let's get our operative in position on that next encoder, uh, just to make things extra nice and that's safe. Affirmative. We have got Kilroy sitting out in the open there, so we want to make sure that there's no craziness going on in the back here. Because if there's a if there's an exalt hiding in the fog about to pop out and shoot us, we're gonna have to hit that transmitter early. But it doesn't look like there is. Looks like we might actually be safe here. Did I count wrong? Uh, did I did I count wrong? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna run like crazy to check. Probably activate another pod in the process. But I just want to be sure that Kilroy is totally safe after that great work she did. No, I mean, it looks safe out here. On the move. Must have miscounted, must have got lazy Ready to engage. with my counting early on. Back in. Alright, open the door politely, Morgan, because we're in no rush. I'm on it, Commander. And you just start going for that transmitter. Moving. So we've got a really good stranglehold on the map right now. Once you've taken control of the map, you just position yourself around the map. Just have control because Exalt's going to start dropping in from their Little Bird helicopters. Just fast roping in from their Hueys. And you just want to be ready for that. Hey, Macarena. Alright. Hello, buddy. Do not uncover yet. Oh, there's a little bit of a zap for you. Two. Man, he's just running forever. Three. Oh, he's going for the sniper, is he? I don't know what he's doing. Three. Is this it? Is this... Oh my god, that guy's in... Oh my god. Why didn't... No! Why didn't you get the helicopter that buzzed the LZ for you? Oh no, it's gonna be a slaughter. Exalt! Look out! Oh god! My fucking god, it's a fucking massacre! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Ah, oh god. No one can feel good about what just happened, not even me. Um, looks like we have pretty much complete control of the map right now, so we're just gonna keep reloading and uh, holding the condiment tables the at this point. Let's do this. I think we did it already. <laughs> Actually, I should check if there's any exalts hiding out here. I'm on the move. There are no exalts hiding out here, just some rats. Oh man! Oh, did I get to show you the rats yet? Holy shit! Look at these fucking rats. Excuse my language, that might be the first time I've sworn in my life, but these rats are incredible. Wow. Is that not just something? to tell your grandkids about. These are rats. Or are they like alien hybrid sponges sent down to infiltrate us pretending to be rats? You can't tell and that's the genius. That's the genius of their design. God I love these rats. Last time someone said I was getting snippy about the birds, they're saying like, wow, Beagle's getting really snippy about the birds. Like, no, 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 like you don't understand. Like, I love it. I fucking love these rats. And just to make this clear again, I think I said this last time actually, this is this is the perfect example of perfect design from Firaxis. I'm not, I'm not being sarcastic here. When you're up here, like, 
The game was never designed to be zoomed in that much. This is a long war thing, the new zoom. But up here, you're like, hey, it's rats, you know? Hey, it's a pigeon, you know? It's perfect. But only if you, you know, cheat using long war to zoom in that far, do you go, wow, they saved a shitload Reloaded. of processing power by not... They, they, they made the rats just as detailed as they needed to be. And that is brilliant. That is absolute brilliance. Anyway, back to the actual game. I just think it's brilliant that they used exactly as much time on the rats as they needed to without wasting any luxury time making the rats look prettier when no one was ever going to look at them anyway. I think that's genius. I have a lot of respect for that. I just got to make that clear. People didn't understand my respect for the rats last time. Well, for the pigeons. I have to make that clear. I respect these pigeons so much. Too much, maybe. I'm on the move. Maybe that's how I got into trouble. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Tap bang. Uh, speaking of people we don't respect, uh, Kilroy just kind of bathing in the blood of Exile right now. It's a slippery job when you look at it. It's a hey, slippery job. But someone's got to do it. Aye, aye, Commander. Got it covered. And we are just I'm on it, Commander. covering the zones. Here we go. Hey! Didn't work last time. Let's do it again. Oh my god. I can't even watch this. Oh, they're just sending snipers in. I don't know why they're doing this. You're literal. <laughs> this guy. This. <laughs> Holy shit! Exalt High Command is like you've got to take on Van Dorn. You gotta distract him, but this guy's like, I'm not gonna kill Van Dorn. It's Van Dorn. This guy literally drops out of a helicopter and just goes, You know what, sir, Mr. Van Dorn? I'll just get in the trash can. You don't have to wreck me. I'll just put myself in the dumpster because that's where I belong. Wow. What a guy. What a guy. I. Wow. What, what can you say? Really, what can you say? He, he just put himself in the way. dumpster, and that's amazing. He just jumped into a trash can. <laughs> There's just nothing more to say. A beautiful uh, gymnastic backflip. Perfect dismount. Almost a perfect 10 out of 10 onto the traffic cone and then he broke his neck. Unfortunate. Almost a perfect dismount apart from that. Is that the thumbnail for this week? Excuse me for a second. Alt F1 is the key to minimize the... Ah, Jesus Christ, that noise. Alt F1 is the key to minimize the HUD to take screenshots. I hit Alt F12 because I forget that because F12... Oh, Jesus. Is um, the screenshot key. Um, and I just accidentally force closed the game, which is very sad because now that exalt might not get in the trash can again. Um, that was just a daydream from Van Dorn, it, apparently. Apparently, that guy is not actually in the trash can. Um, very sad. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's still the thumbnail, though. That was perfect. I don't care if the interface is on. It's, it's too beautiful. Um, I I don't know. Where am I gonna move? I just move here. Whoops, my bad. We're just gonna go ahead and I I'm just praying, just praying for the trash can Overwatch again. For the trash can. Oh my god. All you have to do is get back in the trash can. That's all I want. Okay, there's a third guy. Come on, get in the trash can. Yes! 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 He got back in the trash can. And now I get to enjoy it again. So really, who's laughing out of that mistake? It's me. 
Well, now Van Dorn gets to put him in the trash can. So, I mean, life just got better, I guess. Without a fight. Oh my god! Life just did get better! Holy shit! He does make voice lines! That's incredible! I haven't got to experience that yet. Well, thanks to that goof. Um, wow, that was vicious. Alright, now I always gotta kill this guy. Zap, zip. Zip, bop, zippity boop. Don't worry, we saw this coming. Just gonna pull out a little bit of the heater action. And you're dead still. Oh, and now we, the judges have allowed uh, the Exalt Gymnast for a second attempt. Unfortunately, it looked like he'd made almost a perfect Gangnam style dismount. Um, but unfortunately, he did fall off and, and break his neck open again. Uh, very sad. You don't often see a Gymnast break their neck twice in one maneuver. But Exalt's got heart. Uh, now we're just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the Exalt Gymnastics team. Alright, and there's a beautiful, just a beautiful reverse dismount there from Exalt. And it looks like, it looks like Kyori is, yes, Kyori is going to go. No, she, she switched out. Could this be a double pistol? Copy that. I think Kyori is going for the double pistol here. Alright, there's the three. Okay, now, now what's this? Oh my god, is she going to put him on the table? And there it is, we've done it, Commander. Secure the transmitter. There it well is. Uh, XCOM's gymnastics team showing some great sportsmanship here, assisting the last Exalt gymnast in their dismount over the table. Wow, and just spilling tomato sauce everywhere. What a mission here. What a show. This is what gymnastics is all about. the aliens would put up more of a fight. They didn't look so tough this time around. <laughs> Bradford. <laughs> Bradford, that's because they're humans. <laughs> Does nobody tell Bradford <laughs> that we're fighting Exalt? <laughs> I figured the aliens would put up more of a fight. Well, that's because they're not actually aliens, Bradford. They're just human beings with G36s. Like, that rifle's really unreliable, I hear. Like, probably why they can't shoot anybody because that fucking rifle keeps overheating when they go to shoot us <laughs> well um, this is just the best day ever in other great news instinct has been nicknamed the Dean uh, which is incredible that's an homage not just to the Dean of a university uh, but also to our roommate Dean uh, that's a double homage there so a double homage so instinct carries with him a lot of hopes and dreams right now um, I'm not going to make the choice on his perks just yet. Um, don't know what I want to make him into. I've got a lot of different builds for my assaults. And hey, Morgan has got a promotion. Uh, their nickname is Gunner, which is endlessly confusing because they're an assault. Um, yes, that I that is going to be confusing, but we'll deal with that. And again, uh, two assaults promoted. That's great. Again, we'll leave that till later. And again, we've got so much goddamn money. Um, the Exalt base is not in Japan. So much goddamn money. Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. They're just throwing money at us. So we're gonna have to do another exalt operation on let's say the 14th of June. Let's leave it till the 15th. I like to live dangerously. Um let me just uh, as always, after every mission, check my dream journal, see if there's anything I want to buy of all this money I have. Uh, and if not, we'll carry on to the next mission. Alright, so we're all good here. Uh, apologies. Uh, apologies. I just checked tape, as it were, on the mission I just recorded. And to my great, you know, great happiness, discovered that the mic sounded a little bit muted and off. Uh, DX Story, the program I used to record, great program. So fantastic. So much better than Fraps in so many ways. Um, my copy can be a little temperamental sometimes. I don't know why. It just, over the years, it's just decided to screw with me sometimes. Uh, and today, I guess, it decided that the mic setting it had would stop working properly and would get muffled, so I had to change it to a different setting. Um, lesson learned, uh, you should always check your mic and everything before you start recording. 
Um, but I'm a lazy man, and I forget things, I guess. But the good news is, uh, I'm happy to just keep stockpiling money for my Interceptor Blitz at the end of the month. So we're just going to keep on going and scan for Exalt on, like, the 15th. Uh, but apart from that, we're just going to keep on uh, going here, he says, as he doesn't keep on going because he wants to build more things. No, 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 I don't need any of this. It's like impulse shopping. I don't need any of it. We're just going to keep on going, and we're going to keep on scanning, and we're going to keep on beating. Do I need more rookies? Oh, I can't help myself. No, no, I don't need any of it. I have enough. I have enough. I, I, I have enough. I have enough. Just keep scan. Just click scan. Wait, no, what if I need more of this? Hang on. No, no, you've got a problem. Come on, just scan. Just get... Oh, God. Okay, here we go. There we go. Here we go. It's fine. It's fine. We just got to scan for exalt on, like, the 15th. Not yet, Argentina. Art throw is complete. I'm gonna scan on the 14th. I don't. I don't trust it. I just want to be sure. Intel scan complete. No scans. No new All right. assault cells located. So we're probably gonna need to scan again on like the 23rd or the 24th. Let's let's put a pin on the 24th, that gives him 10 days. I believe the bare minimum would be 7 days, so we'll we'll give him 10 days. Alright, so the four, 24th is when we scan. Again. Which is going to cost a lot of money, but it's worth it for the money we get out of the exile operations. Alright, back to your regularly scheduled alien killing. We've got a scout to shoot down here. Um, let's send you up in balanced because we're running out of... Interceptors to throw at this one. I'd like to keep my stingrays undamaged, so I'd like to just do this in one interceptor. Uh. Come on. Motherfucker. I actually forgot that I do uh, aggressive. Again, I've been spending so much time in that Twitch campaign, which is in the, like, April of 2016 that I've got laser interceptors I do defense on. Here we go. That's more like it. Alright. We have got a small UFO shoot down in Japan. Forest, heavy vegetation. You know the drill. Let me uh, prep a prep 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 prepare a squad and we'll get right on with this. Alright, so what are you looking at here? It's pretty standard. Um, the Let's not talk about equipment this time. I've talked about equipment for like 30 episodes in a row. You guys should get my equipment choices by now. I'll, I'll run over it very quickly, anything new here. Um, Arc Thrower is going on this one. We don't have an alien containment yet, but I am hoping to bring back potentially an outsider captive. You don't need an alien containment to bring those home, so that'll be an easy pickup on what should be an easy small downed UFO scout. Um, we're taking the arc thrower, a flashbang, and an SMG on the rookie to be our meld arc throwing high mobility rookie. Uh, then we've got everyone else. Um, now, everyone else has really been picked for this mission based on their proximity to leveling up. Kung Tot's going to level up off the mission alone. Daishi needs uh, like three or four, two or three kills, three or four kills, and plus the mission XP to reliably level up. Uh, Van Dorn only needs mission XP. Awo is kind of just babysitting everyone. He's an infantry officer. He doesn't count. He's just here to be competent. Hunter uh, just needs a couple kills and mission XP. Hyper Geek will level up off mission XP. And the rookie should level up off it being a small UFO. So I'm trying to get as many level ups out of this, what should be an easy mission, as possible. Uh, so with that in mind, I've stuck shotguns and alloy plates on Hunter and Daishi so they can get into the thick of things and get fighting. Because I do need higher level medics and it always helps to promote scouts, so... You know, it always helps to promote anyone, so I'm just trying to get as many promotions as I can out of the easy missions. Apart from that, everything is very standard. One med kick from the Hunter, uh, from the medics, uh, perk. One med kick from the sniper to make it standard. Um, yeah, I mean, apart from that, it's, it's just all pretty standard stuff. So... With that said, let's hit launch, uh, let's get into the action.
Strike one. Prepare for landing. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. It looks like we got lucky. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. Alright, ball caps and ballistic helmets on. It'll be time for Operation Vengeful Thunder next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until then, have a good one.